30. I see a kid coming and... All right, do you really know how fast your car can stop when you really need to hit the brakes? Like to avoid running a red light, hitting another car, or even a kid who might run into the street in front of you. Well, that's exactly what happened here in Denver just a few years ago. A kid runs out into the street, a driver going too fast, can't stop. Luckily, that boy was okay. Lots of neighborhoods use these little yellow guys to slow down drivers. Parents put them up even where I live. Uh, but last night, a Lone Tree neighbor contacted us after a man was ticketed for placing the slow down sign in the street. Well, tonight, Marshall Zellinger is taking to the raceway to show the importance of keeping it slow in our neighborhoods. And we wanted to know how long it would take to stop for a kid in the street. So we took our news car to Bandemir Speedway. Now, we admit our test is unscientific. It was done on a sticky track, but the results should still hit home. Just how long does it take to stop a car going residential speeds? Oh boy, there's a kid there. After our story about a lone tree father ticketed for putting one of these in the middle of the street, we heard from many of you saying drivers go too fast in your neighborhood. We tested from 15 miles an hour to 30. We'll admit our test is not perfect. We're missing reaction time since I already know when and where to stop. But if we weren't anticipating it and it was going to happen to a spur of the moment, things are definitely going to change as to how quickly we react. I'm going 25. How long is it going to take me to stop? And going 25 miles per hour took twice as far to stop as 20 miles per hour. And it took me about 25 and a half feet to stop. Our final test at 30. 30 miles per hour took 33 and a half feet to stop. Just for grins, we did 55 miles per hour. While I count this out, watch what slamming on the brakes at 55 looks and sounds like. 100 feet. The reason we did the test after last night, we heard from so many of you who also told us you have speed problems in your neighborhoods like Denver and Littleton. Again, our test with this car was unscientific on a sticky track and uncertain reaction times because I knew I was going to stop. So be sure to add time in real life scenarios for those uncertain occasions. Reporting live, Marshall Zellinger, 7 News.